Yeah, yeah it doesn't hey, stop. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Chris and Dan Show. I'm glad to have you here with Worst us. Worst intro ever. Worst one ever? No. Uh, no, not ever. I've done a number of these. There's, there's a worse one, I'm sure. Chris got so, that. Chris got the energy today, though, so it's, it's going to be a good one. I drank two monsters, so. Seriously? Yeah. That's very bad for you, actually. It doesn't, doesn't really do anything to me. I've taken my blood pressure. It goes up maybe five points. Okay. Well, anyways. So, we'll hey. react to something like that later. So, uh, today we're doing something political. For those who follow our channel. I like and how the voice the went channel, down a couple octaves. What's something if political? If, if you're new to the channel, we react both to like political stuff and music. Right? Dan's not in the or sports. music today. Or sports. Or yeah, I'm not a musical puss today. So today we're reacting to something kind of interesting. I watch this guy every once in a while. And he he goes through a, like little segments of many different topics. Right? Okay. So it's kind of like you're getting a combination of many different uh, things throughout the week. Right? That have occurred. So we're going to react to his reaction to them. Can you like, see if we agree? Can you give any background on who this guy is, or uh, I mean, he, we're just turning yeah, on something. He, he became popular during Black Lives Matter. Um, okay, he has like a half a million followers on YouTube. Ah, not too shabby. Here we go. This guy. Yeah. So you laugh, you lose. He so has a name. Of, um, his channel is Country Something. Let's see. Heavy duty country. All right, there yeah. we go. All right. Uh, can you see? No, now we can't see. Heavy so duty country. A... Chris is a subscriber. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. And we're gonna see if I will be a subscriber after this. Okay. What are your thoughts? Yep. Not by the song or not, but will I subscribe? Maybe, maybe. Okay. He's got an interesting personality. I mean, right. made the, this is the first episode of this where he takes like the week's like stuff that's going on, and he tries to make it kind of funny and says, "Well, but if you laugh, you lose because this is bad stuff, right?" All right, I'll give my honest opinion on this. Go Dodgers, by the way. And welcome back to another edition of Heavy Duty Country. If you watched like my last Kamala episode, you know that we're that starting a sick. few new series on this channel. <laughs> I actually was going to buy a hat that says, Make YouTube Great Again. And I was uh -huh. going to wear it in my videos. Um, trucker hat. But I'm looking for it still. Today is another new one, and it's called Are They Joking? Mainly because there is just so much odd stuff going on in the US and really the world right now that I personally find myself asking, are they joking? Like, is this a serious thing? So this episode is very similar to the other series that we just came out with the other day, except the challenge on this one is if you laugh, you lose. And if you lose, the punishment is simple. You have to subscribe. So if all that makes go, sense, You'll hit the like button right. so we can get started. What an idiot! Let's see if I laugh. I think it's fair to say that Putin is not the most liked person in the world right now. But not for this fella. I'm not gay, but the Ukrainian president is so cool. I think I would have to have relations with him. My God. You know, I think everybody went through a pretty rough time. Uh, in two <laughs> so far, I'm not laughing. You're kind of juggling. And so far, I'm not subscribed. I'm, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> this dude, I actually have, like, when there's obviously... And Ben Shapiro does this, too, and I don't... I think it detracts from who they are, their credibility. But this guy is not Ben Shapiro. I know he's not, but I'm saying this guy's definitely not Ben Shapiro, right? No, ben Shapiro's up here. This guy's, like, down here in the hierarchy of... So, people. Ben Shapiro is serious, right? His channel's really more of a serious nature. This guy has always been comedic. Oh, he's always like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Still, they both want to put political stuff out there. So, when you make fun of, like, people are obviously mentally disabled. Of course, I the internet's a big place. Is he mentally disabled? Do you know that for a fact? 
Chris, if I sit here and cherry pick on TikTok just to find examples of like crazy stuff that I can react to, I mean, yeah, you're gonna find it. The internet is the long tail of content. You're gonna have. No, I understand that, but I, I didn't. This dude's mentally the same. I, uh, to me, I honestly didn't take it that way when I watched it the first time. Honestly. Well, let's see. Let's see. It's so cool. I think I would. Is not a normal person. This guy's that mentally disabled. Well, shit. At this point, half the world's not normal, in my opinion. Right, but. I mean, I get what they're doing. I just don't like it. I think... Anyways, let, let's continue. Let's continue. I have to have relations with him. My God. You know, I think everybody went through a pretty rough time in 2020, especially business owners who got looted from, because yeah, we all know that was more popular than pretty... Well, I'm chuckling at it. This guy's desire for views like yeah you're gonna find people say crazy stuff he doesn't say anything crazy he just said oh my god yeah his reactions like what a what a moron is basically his reaction oh, you're gonna love it all and the thing is the guy's probably like see has some kind of issue like mental okay. mental wise so it's making fun of somebody else basically is what he's doing see i didn't again i didn't take it that way I took it as though somebody's kind of making a joke on TikTok by saying that, but I could be wrong. Nah, um, I could be wrong, but we'll let the audience decide who's right or wrong. I, I'm almost well, convinced. All these people are kind of mental that he's going to show. I think, if I recall correctly. Well, Ben Shapiro, my th the problem with him, I don't, I don't mind because he's not meant to be taken seriously, at least from what I, you told me. But Ben Shapiro does this too, yeah. and to him, I think it detracts from what he's trying to do but there, it's no. it's easy views and he is running a video or a youtube channel too yep. or a media empire actually respect right. to ben shapiro pretty much crack in 2020 but you know the really weird part about it is people would go into shops with a bag like a trash bag and they would just fill it up with items and people would just stand there and laugh and film them not do anything right. about it just film them and the other weird part is it's always a pharmacy walgreens cbs they get hit up all day long they do that this is real you're going to take everything. Why not go over there and kick him in the face and say, hey, man, didn't your parents ever tell you to not steal from other people? Moving on, we get to a gender fairy. I don't know really what else to call them at this point. I got misgendered by a random ass little kid today while I was just waiting for my partner to get out of the bathroom. Oh, no. Sound the alarm. You know, I'm waiting for it to become a law that you can't Have you ever been misgendered, misgendered Chris? And by misgender, I mean not call them by the that gender day. that they want to be called. Wait, I can't hear you. Have you ever been misgendered? No, and I'm looking forward to that day. Eventually, it's coming eventually not follow science because who's following that anymore science today is something over your face blocks everything from coming in and out that's science so and all i have to say is at least i don't have a bedtime of 8 30. also like if somehow the universe fucks me over and the parent of this child <laughs> miraculously ends up seeing this do fucking better raising your kid maybe teach your kid that going up to some random ass adult and saying you can go to the ladies' room. It's right over there. It's not okay. If a kid thinks you're a dude and you're a chick, he's a kid. They are blessed with honesty. Maybe it should be a reality check for you. Have you ever thought about that? No? Sure you haven't. Get down with yourself. Explore <laughs> your own body. Masturbation is really healthy. Well, my fa what the hell? My father-in-law um, is old school Mexican, dude. We were in a restaurant in California. And he had to use the bathroom, right? So we were messing with him. Me and Dora were like, hey, you know, over here, that's like a unisex bathroom. So don't be weirded out if, like, a lady's coming out and then you go in. That's just how it is. He refused to go to the bathroom. He's yeah. old school. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll just wait. Yeah. So he's misgendering, too, I think. This <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> this person now is a teacher, I believe, in grade school. All right, let's check it out. It. They are blessed with honesty. Maybe it should be a reality check for you. Have you ever thought about that? No, sure you haven't. Get down with yourself, explore your own body. Masturbation is really healthy, and I recommend it to people of all ages. All ages. How is this something natural that you're talking about online right now? In a jean jacket. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I don't disagree with her. Yeah, but it's not appropriate for elementary school kids. Come on. At what age do you have to, like, have that conversation with your kids? Like, hey, you know I what? Think you're, I think, like Florida says, it's up to the parents. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. So at what age the parent needs to have that conversation? Yeah, but it's not for teachers, which I believe that person is. True, true. Okay, fair enough. Good today, honey. Oh, I'm talking about masturbation online today. What are you doing? <laughs> as soon as my nephews could talk, they were doing that. That's what they were doing. Kids touch themselves kids start to ask questions and we teach them the language for their bodies, right? That's your nose, touch your nose, show Aunt T, you can touch your nose. But my sister's not saying that when they're tugging at their penis, right? Look, not to be this guy, <laughs> but I am a guy and you're not, so I'm just going to correct you on something. All right, that one's funny. Why? Because she's not mentally disabled and she's still saying something stupid. Yeah, he's about to correct her too. <laughs> tugging is not a good word to use for that. There's a lot of words to use for that. Tugging is not one. Now we get to a part of our show <laughs> where we ask the question, why do you have this much time in your day? Here comes an ad. Bear with us, guys. Chris and Dan show. We're Animals here to in serve. The zoo and We're here to serve. Show where we ask the question, why do you have this much time in your day? Animals in the zoo in Kiev, Ukraine are terrified from the bombing. This is for the elephant there. What about this baby? She meant a little problem? <laughs> Look, I get it. Your parents didn't put you in ballet when all you were right. a kid. First of all, <laughs> That maybe that's just a virtue signaling gone to to what animals? Animal lover. She might be mentally ill, or she's trying to get attention. But because the elephant's not gonna watch her TikTok, or like a third to a half of the world, she's just another crazy person. Yeah, that one left me speechless, honestly, <laughs> because uh. She's doing it for an elephant, but knowing, at least I think a normal human will know that an elephant won't watch TikTok. And we'll have so. no clue, even if they do, what the hell you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're really upset about it, so you feel like you have to go online and do a ballet dance for an elephant. But I promise you that he doesn't care. He probably cares more about getting bombed. That, that would probably be at the top <laughs> of his list. This next one is just... Yeah. My God. This teacher or the kids or whoever's in this school, you never know nowadays, they create a new Pledge of Allegiance. Can we make that a law? Can we all just come together and make it a law that if you don't say the Pledge of Allegiance, if you kneel for the Pledge of Allegiance, if you kneel for the national... Wait, I don't have kids and I haven't been in school in like two decades. Do they do it still? Yep. Okay. So... I've seen what he's about to discuss on a number of channels, and this teacher needs to be barred from teaching, my opinion. Let's see. Let's let me be the judge of that for myself, Man. and Man. then let you viewers be the judge of that. If you don't take your hat off for any of those. And if you stomp on our flag, you should just get thrown out of the damn U.S. I mean, listen to this. Camp. Full of pride. Full of pride. Indivisible. Well, I'm sorry, but no way. So is that a like a gay class, just a gay class or it's a normal class? Well, according to him, I don't know. It's a normal class that he's teaching them to say the gay pledge of allegiance. I didn't even know there was a gay <laughs> pledge of allegiance. <laughs> did I. That definitely shouldn't be done in schools. Yeah, uh, this guy needs to be barred from teaching. That's Pete Buttigieg's husband. That's yeah, like some teacher. important he's teacher. person. He's a teacher. Not everyone's equal. 
I mean, look at Leonard Thomas. He kicked those guys. Uh, I got to tell you, though, how much of that is actually virtue signaling Don't gone care. way too wrong? If you're involving kids in it, yeah, in your classroom, yeah, having to memorize this stupid pledge, wow, uh, you need to be barred from teaching. My opinion. His ass isn't swimming. Good try, though, guys. Next up, we have a black woman who is straight up telling white women to kill white men. Before I even start it, let me just say, what is on your head? I wake up white women. So, hey, we can start from the inside out. Go on and kill them crackers, girl. <laughs> Go ahead and kill them motherfucking crackers. You'll make our lives yeah, easier. Like four times now. Plus, if anybody should do it, girl, it should be That's you. That's true. If anybody should get rid of the white man, it should be the white woman. You birthed that motherfucker. But mamas always say, I brought you in. I can take you out. Only thing you should be taking out is whatever is on your head and just burning it in your yard. Go to your trans whatever meeting with your Cinnabon on top of your head and just cry about it. Right, oh, man, CNN got me. Huh? So do you agree with her? I don't agree with her, but I mean... I don't know what context that's in. You know, she's on Instagram I don't think live. You need a context. She's uh, people just talk shit on there. Like they don't, they don't actually mean it. So she doesn't actually mean that white women should kill white men. I mean, you know, that's what she's saying. It doesn't matter the context, does it? Context matters to me, but I mean, what I what context? Uh, seriously, what context could you put that in which would make logical sense? Maybe it's a specific white woman that uh, gave she birth said to men, like not man. She said, yeah, she said white women or yeah. white women should kill white men, white men. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's like a kid that was really there bad. Is, there is no logical context. In which yeah, but maybe she's angry that. about something. That's, yeah. that's all I'm saying. She's angry as she's been taught by the media. Very likely also that uh, white people <laughs> Very are evil. likely also. That white people are evil, and the only way minorities get ahead is by get, getting rid of white people. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that uh, could or, be. Or they're subservient to white people. That's what the media is teaching. Right. Yeah. I mean, this is why we like long-form podcasts. If you get a guest like this on, who I doubt this person would ever be a guest on a podcast, but... You can actually get, like, the nuance of what they're actually saying. But, yeah, in this case, who knows? Probably some crazy woman. No, I think that's a man. Transgender man. Well, uh, there we go. I misgendered six <laughs> minutes in. Let me on this one. <laughs> so they're showing Ukraine and how it's kind of screwed up. Bombs have been going off. Fires going on. And then they cut to commercial. And it's an Applebee's commercial. And them playing chicken fried. Oh, yeah, I saw this. I saw this. Great commercial. In the middle of a bombing <laughs> carrying. So, whatever you believe in, you believe that something made you, obviously. You believe that you didn't just appear out of the ground like a weed. Whatever made us, made us with hair. Now, I'm just curious, where do y'all think shaving body hair came from? Do you think it was some caveman who was like, Oh, man, I don't like your legs being warm at night, so just take a rock and... Get that off. No, it was probably women just being like, okay, I want my legs to be smooth. Body hair grows on everyone. It's not grace on a girl if it's not grace on a guy. And body hair is literally protection of our own bodies. But women shave it off for boys like you. It's the sexist way of living that shouldn't be pressured to shave with it. But that's actually true. I don't disagree with her. This is uh, actually true. A lot of cultures have had where women don't shave, right? I think the French for the longest yeah. time didn't shave women. Well, she she's onto something too. Like, and not only that, but like deodorants and stuff like that. They're full of like heavy metals, not the music kind, but like heavy metals right. that are known right. carcinogens. So, like these naturalistic people, it would she would definitely just by five seconds of looking at her fits that mold. They are uh, onto something. Not to me. She's wearing a ton of makeup. True. We don't know if that's organic or not, but yes. She fits that mold, or at least virtue signals to that mold. And I 
patriarchal society. Okay, so it is then funny, just though. It's funny. don't <laughs> chafe. What's the problem here? I agree. You I know, agree. I figured I'd throw in a clip here that I just fully don't understand. I don't understand why people voted for Sleepy Joe. This stuff <laughs> is a completely different universe to me. We had a lot of comments like this, so we thought we'd elaborate on our pronouns. They are our collective system pronouns. Every headmate's okay with them. They're pronounced fee fix fins and are used as fee Same. went to the store. This item belongs to fix. And this item is fins. So oh, cool! So you're that, that is just, you got fins. <laughs> that or? is just a, I don't, but that might be the funniest clip of the whole thing, because that's I hate pronouns. I I really think it's virtue signaling. However, however, in defense of pronouns, this girl right here. No, I could it, have used pronouns. It, it could be a girl or it could be a boy. Exactly right. my it, point. I could have used pronouns there. It would have been helpful. No clue. On LinkedIn, it's not helpful. I can show you probably a hundred profiles with people using right. pronouns. You know. I know what gender they are. Yeah, but in that but, case, I could have used it. Those are virtual virtue signaling. They're saying, "Hey, I'm in your in crowd." That's right. I think like you. Yeah, you know I'm a male, but I'm a. So say those him. pronouns we don't need. All right, but but, but they if, think we need them because they're virtue signaling. Right, right. We understand they're virtue signaling. We don't need those. This person needs pronouns on LinkedIn. Sure. For real. Well, sure. I wouldn't disagree. I would actually appreciate like one out of a hundred if like this. Well, virtue signaling. If that's I, not virtue signaling, she or he is letting them know. Hey, like call I, me a dude. You know? I would even go further than that. I would say ninety-five percent of the time. I don't need them even in this case, right? I may misgender you because I don't feel like calling you a female because you are a male and I know it, but you think you're a female. Maybe I'm being rude to some in that regard. But this particular person, I am kind of clueless on what they yeah, are. Yeah, I am too. And I would call you by whatever pronoun you want. That's probably the main difference between us. But I actually would, you know, say, okay, you want to be called she, okay, Mrs. So-and-so. I would do that. But I don't want to guess, and in the, her case, I would need to guess. And it would make me feel uncomfortable and get me out of my safe space. Okay, so... LinkedIn is supposed to be my safe space as well. And if I don't know what to gender you, it gives me an uncomfortable feeling. Okay, I'm definitely not going that far, but... Well, I uh, could play their game too. Sure, I understand. But in this case, I would gender this person whatever they wanted because i have no clue what they are <laughs> yeah it's too confusing to figure out just you tell me what the well, fuck you want to be called for it. yeah tell me what the fuck you want to be called and i'll call you that <laughs> or forward go back if that ain't the truth wait I... where did i go where were we I... oh shit right. we missed uh, okay here we go this one is funny let's watch it again for sleepy joe this stuff is a completely but I'm actually different learning. universe to me. A lot of comments like this, so we thought Finn? we'd elaborate on our pronouns. They are our collective is... system pronouns. Every head makes new definition. Pronounced fee fix fin. Wait, I gotta write this down. Fee went to the store. This item belongs to fix, and this item is fins. So oh, cool. So you're uh, language, uh, country of origin, please. Fee, <laughs> fin, phoenix. Duck. You got fins, or you scuba Steve. I don't know. <laughs> we got one more of these, just this so dude. everyone else can be as confused <laughs> as I am. Currently, I'm identifying as gender fawn or demi boy, but I really don't like that term because I don't like the word boy. So you're gender foreign, but you call yourself a word plus boy. That's a gender. Read a book. And demi sometimes does a weird things to my brain too. But yes, I am non-binary or gender fluid, leaning more between mask and completely neutral. I don't tend to dip into femme, though I do sometimes wear skirts and the like because they're comfy and makeup because it makes me pretty. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. I legitimately have nothing to say. I feel like a grown man <laughs> yeah. just talked like he's a four-year-old girl. Next up, I don't know how many of you watch the Grammys or the wow. Academy Awards or whatever the hell they're calling them nowadays. But Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's oh, yeah. wife, and Will Smith was laughing. And then his wife did. Who a hasn't look. He seen gets that? Up and just smacks this is a week Chris old. Rock. And so, of course, I decided to make the perfect meme out of it. Uh-oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow!
If that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. All right, everyone, on every single one of these shows, we have a grand finale. Ukraine and Russia. If we had a nuclear war, it would be worth it if it could just save one life. Nuclear war to save one life? What? At a target in the pride section looking for a shirt for my six year old openly gay transgender nephew after Look at that dude look at that dude behind him, he's laughing. This guy's <laughs> laughing. I would be laughing too. Yeah, there. so this makes you wonder like what is this, first of all? Like where is this? He's out of town looks hall. Like something formal. Okay. He's out of town hall. So he's either a paid actor or he's truly unhinged. No, this no. <laughs> it's, it's neither of those. This dude has this dude has his own YouTube channel. I can't remember. Uh, his name. But he goes to the city hall meetings. Okay. And he okay. does this stuff to make fun of this stuff. Okay. But this guy who's reacting to it's gonna make him seem like a crazy liberal. I don't know. I don't. I don't recall. See, this is yet. why I'm telling you, context matters, Chris. Sure. In this case. Because if I didn't know that, I'm like, dude, this guy liberals are actually like fucking crazy. Well. He, he, and but many of them are like this dude, and he's making fun of that. Well, I want to see a real one, not a guy like. But okay, I get you, I get you. But thank you for the background. Let's see what this guy says. I swear I'm a barista, but at least they know that I was helping the LGBTQ community while Brianna Taylor was killed. Everybody lay on my pillow, and I prayed that Dr. Fauci that's your make a vaccine for white supremacy. I hate myself. <laughs> Oh my god, Does he I just know? fell He's... back in my chair. Man, I'm going to have fun doing these episodes. Does he know that's a YouTuber? I have no idea. See, cause he just made fun of liberals without, like, out of something that's meant to be satire, right? Right. That's the problem with these things. I get it. He's Respect to this guy, by the way. He's grown a channel. It's not easy to have half a million subscribers. But that's why I think context matters. Because if you didn't tell me that, I would just believe it. Like, oh, these liberals are fucking unhinged. Let me go vote Republican. Okay, it's so, not entirely true, though. So, okay, in in my opinion, that guy is definitely going higher or more uh, ridiculous than most liberals. You don't that say, guy, Chris. That's the guy that was come on. <laughs> but that being said, they do say stuff like that. They say things like that. It's satire, so it's like Weird Al, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. It's hyperbole. Exactly. But they still do say things like that. It, like whoever, like it, whoever is pushing CRT, think about it. CRT is saying that white people are dominant and they're evil, and the only way for minorities to get ahead because you're less intelligent. This is exactly what they're saying. Well, we need to react you're to one of those. We need to react to one of those that's where they're not acting. There's plenty of that. That's your job. If you think that's a good one. I just thought this was funny. It's funny. But I'm finding... Um, see, he didn't say this an actor. Like, I know that from you. Right. If I'm just a casual, normal... You know, I'm like, oh, dude. I think it's the same dude that got up and rapped. Remember that dude that went to the town hall in Plano? Oh, that dude. Yeah. Because I, I thought that was real, too. It went viral on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, he's got a channel. This is his channel. I mean, fair enough. Conservatives have to fight back somehow, so that's their way of fighting back. It's entertaining, too. Yeah, making fun of what they're proposing. Yeah, okay. I hope y'all seriously enjoy them. If you laugh, you lost. You got to subscribe, and we'll see you next I did laugh. I don't care if I lost, and uh, <laughs> not subscribing, huh? Not yet. Nah, he's gotta, he's gotta earn me. He's already got half a million. You gotta earn me, man. I well, gotta see you in my algorithm at some point in the future, and maybe I'll subscribe then. But yeah, I thought it was good. I didn't like making fun of the first guy in the beginning, but but you laughed five or six more times at, at others, people. not at that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that guy was like had a. Developmental disability or something. See, uh, again, I don't know if that's true or not. It's possible, but I don't know. Let us know in the comments, guys. But what do you think about this? What do you think about this form of humor? And let us know anything else. Yeah, you did you know. like it? Yeah, did you like it? Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share too, please. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you later, six nine style. So catch you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.